Hello. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Ya se va acercando al final, ¿verdad? We are almost at the end of this course. Today. Uh -huh. Today is the second day of Unit 4. So we are finishing on Wednesday, right? We'll end the course on Wednesday, yeah. Okay, then. Let's start, guys. Let's start. Estamos bien poquitos, ¿verdad? Pero vamos a comenzar. We are going to start the class. It's 8.03. We gave enough time for everybody. So um, allow me to call the roll because that's the first step in the class. Remember, this is a requirement. So I have to do this. All right. Andrea Sofía Benítez Gómez. Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Siempre. Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Present teacher. Claudia Yamilet Coreas. Ellen Nilsson Aparicio del CID. Present teacher. Eric José Hernández Campos. Eisel Elizabeth Navarro de Cervellón. Henry Alberto Pérez Rosales. Here I am, teacher. Yes, some time, right? Hernán Antonio Chacón López. Presente, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Okay. Uh, Karen Chamilet Rivas de Ayala. Magdiel Esaú García Morales. Present. Present, teacher. Okay. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Oh, it's on his job. All right. Rafael Antonio Barrera Díaz. Not yet. Ricardo Tony Mendoza Castro. Oh, it's in his job too, right? Mm. 
Rosa del Carmen Santa María Tobar. Present teacher. Eh, Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. O sea, Belis Aguirre Mendoza. Pedro Alexander Osorto Sánchez. Present teacher. Okay. So guys, let's start tonight with our class. Okay, mm, just as a manner of feedback, as a manner of feedback, we want to just uh, check up how to write sentences that help us to talk about policies stated for conduct, for payments, for schedules, for dressing, I mean, dress code or any other kind of policy, right? So I I posted an activity in the platform on the on the platform. So I need you to go right there, okay? And what we have to do there is to read a document. I sent the link. So you click on the link, read the document. They are policies and procedures from a school, a driving school or something like that, right? So uh, the important part here is for you to understand the policies, okay? That's the first thing. Read and understand the policies. Second, you have to make a conversation with your partner about at least four of those policies, all right? Talking about these four policies. Remember the conversation we practiced yesterday? On your manual, you have um, a conversation on page 39, remember? So similar to that, all right? Similar to that conversation, but including information from these documents. All right, got it? Is there any question about this activity? Okay, I will repeat, I will repeat. So you go on the platform, all right? Please access your platform access to your account and go to the discussion forum. Okay. This is the activity. Look, using should to communicate policies. You click on that on that link. Okay, you click on this link. And I posted this link is a document. All right, it's a PDF document. You click on this link, read the policies included there or stated in that document. Then write a short conversation talking about four of the policies stated in the document. Use affirmative and negative sentences, like so, questions with short and long answers using should. All right? Questions? No, it's okay, teacher. All right. I hope all of you um, could be available tonight to practice, guys.
Ahorita no tengo ningún oyente acá. Solo Karen, ¿verdad? Ok. Teacher. Tell me, Wilber. Ah, ahorita creo que me, que me están hablando de, de trabajo. Creo que sí me voy a mantener por un ratito. Después me, me, okay. después me, me entro de lleno. All right. Gracias. Uh -huh. Ok, ¿saben qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a hacer los grupos un poquito grandes, aunque la conversación sea de tres personas, ¿ok? De tres y personas. La, eh, ah, bueno, eso era lo que le iba a preguntar. Va, uh -huh. iba a ser individual. Eh. No, no, es una conversación entre ustedes, uh -huh. como a, okay. conversando, así como el ejemplo de ayer. Ok. okay. Uh -huh. Pero con las, pol las, las políticas que están en ese documento. Ok. Ok, sí, tengo un poquito de problemas al crear las alas porque me quedan un poco disgustas, pero vamos a ver, somos, bueno, son 12. Ok. Vamos a crear cinco para que me queden algunos grupos donde pueda cambiar a los oyentes. Vamos a ver. Oyentes sería Karen y Wilber, nada más. Ok, there we are, guys. Teacher, good evening. Hello, good evening. Rafael. I'm a listener, a listener tonight, teacher. All right, no problem, no problem. Mm -hmm. But you have to join just for listening what your classmates are doing, okay? Okay, thank you. Mm Hello. Hola, hola. Hi, Wilbur. You're you're still uh, as a listener? Ah, ahorita, sí, no, ya ya estuvo, ya estuvo. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, estaba viendo acá, no, Magdiel creo que va manejando, he's driving. Ah. Uh... Uh-huh. Hazel, I don't know if she's available. I am ready, teacher. All right, then Wilbur and Miguel, go ahead. And I think Hazel's still listening, all right? Okay. Um, okay. Comparto el, el, la conversación, Magdiel. Please. O, okay. Yes, please. Okay. Confirmar. Confirmame, Magdalena, ¿lo puedes ver? Yes, yes. I can see. Chu, chu. Ah, pues dale, empieza si quieres. Ok. 
Good morning. Ladies. Ladies, ese es el nombre. No, damas. ¿Ah? Damas. Ah. Buenos días, damas. Sorry, es que sorry. Uh, creo que, que no han llegado a la, a la actividad correcta. Va, uh, va, ajá. La actividad es que van a ir a la plataforma. Ahí está un link para que ustedes vayan y lean las políticas que hay ahí. Y la conversación que les va a servir de modelo es la que está en la página anterior a esa. Sería la 39, creo yo, o 40. La 39. ¿Mm? 40. Ok. Aquí, 39. Esa, entrar? esa les puede servir de modelo. Ok. Esa okay. les puede. Ajá. Tienen que usar positivo, negativo y pregunta usando should. Ok. Ok. okay. Uh -huh. Pero van a hablar, no de, así como estas, ¿verdad? Sino que las políticas que están en ese documento. Ustedes agarran cuatro de esas y las platican así como este, esta conversación pequeña, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok. Vale, entonces, ¿Puedes, te... podemos entrar al, al, al link de la plataforma. Will. Yes, on the platform. Sí, sí. In the discussion forum. Ok. Déjame averiguar. Sí, yo yo ¿Tú todavía estoy del celular. Voy a dejar de compartir un ratito, espérame. Hello, Rafael. Hello, okay. teacher. Right now, oh, sorry. We, no problem. I, we are working. I could back my working tonight. Oh, okay. Well, I'm so sorry, but thank God you are at home now. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now we are um, doing a conversation. So we have to create a conversation and you have to go to the platform. In the platform, there is a link. So click on the link and go to the reading. I will assign you to a group, okay? Uh, conversation, the, the pay 41 or- No, no, or, no, no, in la plataforma. On the platform, go to your platform, uh, access to the platform. Es, es, as, lo que pasa es que no sé cómo meterme a todo eso. Ese es mi problema con, con mi tablet. Bye. No Entonces, soy mucho ahorita, de tecnología. Ahorita lo voy a asignar a un grupo. Ok. Ah, ok. Bye. The students must achieve an eighty percent or better in the classroom and behind the wheel in order to the past course. So, lo que wheel no sé qué es. Wheel es. Bueno, pero creo que creo que la la, la hora. O sea, wheel es, es como carrera. Creo que tenía es rueda, pero creo que no está. O sea, es más que todo la, la unión de las dos palabras, ¿verdad? Sí. Um. Ah, al volante. Pero, eh, o más, 80% mejor en, la, en el salón de clases o al volante. En orden. ¿En dónde está leyendo? Where are you reading? En uh, Granny. Grading, grading. Sí. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Es que no, no, no entiendo la, la última expresión. Okay. The classes are divided. Okay. There are classes in the classroom and there are practice classes. So the practice classes are those uh, behind the wheel. All right. So in order to pass the course, students must achieve the 80%, right? The 
oh, or that score, ¿ok? That score. Así como ustedes, que ustedes tienen las clases acá y tienen un attendance score. Es uno, ¿verdad? Luego, tienen en la plataforma el otro score, el otro, la otra calificación, ¿verdad? Entonces, lo mismo acá. Si en esos dos no saca 80, entonces no pasa el curso. Si saca 80, pasa el curso. ¿Ok? Eso es no, lo que okay. dice ahí. No, okay. uh -huh. Entonces, podríamos decir... This, the students. Vaya, so, la, la conversacioncita que van a agarrar de modelo es la que tenemos en el, en el manual en la página 39. Así como esa conversacioncita, así van a hacer una conversación acerca de estas, de, ustedes van a escoger de cuáles van a platicar en la conversación que van a crear. ¿Ok? Ok. Uh -huh. Teacher, puede ayudarme. Este, me uní desde otro dispositivo. Puede enviarme a este grupo. Ok. What number is this? Let me check. Where am I? Ok. Four. Room two. Room two. There you are. Ok. Gracias. Teacher. Ok. Gracias. Sure. Recording in progress. Yeah. Hello, Claudia, please join your room. Welcome. All right. Otra política es el cliente es primero. Oh, el cliente es primero. Uh -huh. Teacher, Así I have a question. Hello? I have a question. Vamos a hacer el texto sobre nuestra política de nuestro trabajo y lo que nos ha mandado es como un manual sobre las políticas de Infafop, digamos. Estudiantes. Ajá, entonces, no. ¿vamos a agarrar eso de ejemplo o vamos a hacerlo sobre nuestro trabajo como en el ejemplo del libro? No. Okay. You have to go and read that document. You have to understand the policies and use that information to create your conversation. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 Mm -hmm. There you are. Okay. Good. Entonces sigamos así como le llevábamos. Bye. Ah, Vaya. o sea que el, el documento solo te leerlo. Como para, ajá, como para tener una idea. Okay. Eh, nope. de, de, esa, ahí, ¿no? de ahí va a sacar usted lo que va a platicar en la conversación. Van a uh -huh. usar de modelo la conversación de la página 39. Uh -huh, correcto. Okay. Solo que okay. las políticas que aquí están no son de una compañía, o sea, son como, una, son como estudiantes. Sobre... Okay. Uh -huh. ok. Pero si es una escuela, si es una compañía. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Okay. ok. Entonces únicamente cambiaría vaya, lo que les estaba comentando anteriormente, Rosa. Las políticas. Acá, sí, pues. acá dice classroom schedule. En nuestro caso sería work o workplace schedule. No. El horario de trabajo. No, usen esas. Usen esas sí, para que no se complique. Ajá. Attendance, policy, esas cosas. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Entonces, bueno, así como yo la estructura está bien, solo hay que cambiarle entonces, este, Blanca, a las que aquí están. Ok. 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 Entonces, sí, así lo vamos a hacer, vamos variando. ¿Y cómo la llevan? A ver. A es ver, que, vaya, nosotros la... acá, ajá, eh, hi Rosa, ah. I, will, I would like to know are many policies in your company are are many uh -huh. yes there are many policies 
And what policies have you have in your company? Nobody should the drugs and smoke in the office. Ah, okay. In my workplace, you can smoke, but out of position. But you shouldn't do drugs, too. Mm -hmm. Y luego oh. estábamos hablando de another police. Otra y police. En, en el caso de Rosa, eh, an important police is the customer is first. Okay. It sounds good. It sounds good what you are doing. Okay. Eh, okay. Ya hicieron una parte, so continue that way. Continue that okay, way. Teacher. Okay, ah, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Good. Gracias. Vaya, entonces, eh, le damos esto para agregar de este otro también. Mm -hmm. Okay. El 28 de septiembre, en ese momento nadie miraba hacia arriba ni pensaba en la tormenta tropical Julia. Solo voy... Hello, how's it going? Hello, teacher. Good. All right. Um, mm -hmm. This is a manual of drive. Or driving? Yeah, it's a school. It's a school. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yes. So then, uh, we have to make a conversation or parlo? Yes, no, you have to create a conversation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Imagine you are talking about the policies of this driving school, right? Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Hello, how's it going? Hello. Hello, Hello teacher. Hi. Hi. How is your conversation going? Uh, I'm still uh, reading. Reading, yeah. okay. It's reading is a... Uh, como que con libro abierto. <laughs> <laughs> you love that, right? <laughs> Yes, Henry. Me está contando, teacher, porque si hay varias palabras que no conozco y las voy como que buscando. Entonces, okay. Pero si estoy entendiendo que qué descarados. <laughs> That's why policies exist. <laughs> uh -huh. That is why, you see? Uh -huh. <laughs> Pero, pero quiero, me veo así, está costando un poquito porque es un montón de personas que no, no, no son nuevas para mí. Vale, hay una estrategia, Henry que, y Claudia y Hernán, que pueden hacer. Vale, eso se llama skimming. O sea, agarrar, digamos, como descremar, ¿verdad? Agarrar lo que nos interesa por el momento, ¿sí? Porque necesitamos crear una conversación platicando de esto, creando oraciones con should, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos agarrando de la primera, la idea que entendimos, ok, esa hacemos una oración, ¿ya? Yeah? Ok, ok. Ok, no es necesario eh, buscar cada palabra, ok, porque entonces sí nos estaríamos tres días para poder eh, ir viendo cada una, ¿verdad? Pero ahorita es, hagamos ese, esa estrategia, skimming, 
así a, okay. como a ojo de pájaro, ¿verdad? Ir viendo, ok, esto, más o menos la idea es esta, ok, la idea es esta, si attendance es esto, ok, grading, 80%, all right, y usted hace la oración con should. Ok, teacher. Entonces usan negativo, afirmativo, pregunta y respuesta, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok, start your conversation, guys. Bueno. ¿Pueden seguir el modelo de la página 39? Página 39, ahorita. Uh -huh. Ah, el de Max y Bruno. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ok. Gracias, teacher. Ok. Son, son varios eh, varios horarios ¿verdad? ah esto creo que esto sería útil bueno, the, the student should eh, should be on time and ready to learn no, no, no sé si It's good. It's good. The students It's good. should be okay. on time and ready to learn, right? Uh huh. And you could look for the time. What time is the entrance and what time is the exit or the leaving? Okay. Leaving time will be, I think it is 8 30 p.m. Okay. Uh, well, at 6.30 p.m. To be on time. I'm ready, I'm ready to learn. Sí. Siempre sea, agregamos un horario o... Ajá, at 6.30 p.m. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Bye. Uh, well, um, it's in general too, right? It's in general mm -hmm. yes. because they uh -huh. have different they have different schedules, so it's in general. But if you want to get one schedule, it's okay too. Okay, yo pensaba mencionar uno, por ejemplo. Good, mm -hmm. good idea. Podemos decir entonces, eh, aparte de eso, yo voy eh, sería ahí voy. I am going, uh... No, I attend. Okay. I attend. Ah. Mm -hmm. uh. Mm -hmm. uh. From 6.30 if you want. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, in the afternoon. Good. Excellent. Más que vi, pero... Nice. <laughs> Sí. 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 Consecutivo y weekend, pues entonces son. Son de si cumplir el curso, we have a 15 week periódico. Periódico, o sea, 15 week. En sí. periódico 105 days. O as minute more than three o 15 class, classroom session may be dreadful for the course 
Wisdom Course Credit o Reform. O sea, para sacar la tarjeta, la licencia, tenés que hacer el mismo examen. ¿Qué de Willy Sign? Five dollars. O sea, allá es más barato que aquí. ¿verdad? Eso es lo que yo digo. Sí, eso es no, lo que yo digo. No, that's a fee if you don't notify your absence. Ok. That's a fee. You have to pay five dollars if you don't attend a class. Ok. Si usted okay. no llega a una clase y no notificó, entonces tiene que pagar cinco dólares de multa. Pero, eh, pero uh -huh. es que sobre una clase de manejo. Yes. Uh -huh. okay. It's a complete yes. program. It's a complete yes. program. Sí, porque aquí dice, dice, the Washington State Department of lic Licensing Appropriate de Curriculum. O sea, yes. es, para Ajá, es para sacar una licencia de manejo. Yes. Y si, son, cinco, son, son 105 días, ¿verdad? Yes. 15 weeks. Ajá. Y ajá, entonces si uno no llega, si uno falta una clase, tiene que pagar uno reembolsar re, reembolsar cinco dólares por clases. Exactly, if you don't notify. Mm -hmm. Ya, yeah, y si no lo hace, este el exa es una única oportunidad, de hay que esperar como tres meses. Claro. Imagine, yeah, you you can check that maybe down there you can find when you may restart because it says that you can be expelled too. You can be yeah. expelled from the program. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here in El Salvador, no. I, I am, uh, I, am, I go to the, the, the instruction that is sent for here. You uh -huh. pay for $100 for uh, uh, the exam, exam the, the look on the, the, the driver. But that's eh, a different excellent. fee. A, a, a property excellent. Y ya uno va a sacar la licencia. Yes, but that's a different fee. Eso es un, es un costo diferente. El costo de la licencia no está aquí. Aquí solo está el costo sí. de multa por no asistir a clase. Si usted no llegó a esa clase, paga cinco dólares. Ok. Ok. Mm -hmm. Y ya están escribiendo la, la conversación. Acabamos de terminar de leer, teacher. Uh, vaya, pero la cuestión es que vaya, podemos platicar acerca, así como estamos platicando con Rafael, pero eh, hay que hacer oras, una oración pequeñita, así como sencilla, ¿verdad? Eh, okay. Sujeto, should, el verbo y el complemento. ¿verdad? Así como en la página 39, sigan ese modelo de la conversación. Ah, ok, bye. Uh -huh. Ahorita les comparto yo. Bueno, entonces sería aquí, mira, vamos, Hernán, hey, hey, Henry, look, I want to know what policies, procedures, and responsibilities have in the driving school. Y yo te respondo, sure, I tell you. You know, se le escucha entrecortado, compañero. Espera, me estoy suponiendo que, ¿cómo sería que tenés que conocer la política de asistencia? You should know, you should attend. You should know. Ah, correcto. You should. Uh, 
the attendance sí. policy. Sí. Correcto, sería un, la, la de asistencia, la primera. Attendance policy. Uh -huh. Policy and singular with the letter Y. Hola, compañero. Perdón por si me llamaron y no contesté que andaba botando la basura. Deme un, un minuto porque se acaba de quedar pegada la pantalla. ¿Y eso es lo que están haciendo de la, de la política? De la, política. Sí. la conversación. Ahí está. Sí. Ah. De ahí, ahí vamos. Vamos a aprender. <coughs> Entonces, aquí está, you, you, it says, you should. You should. Yeah, no. En el está como se escribe política. Policy. 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 Okay. 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 A ver qué tal sale en la... Hello, Karen. Welcome. Hi, teacher. You were on your way. Venía desde el escalón. Oh, God. Y mm. allá está horrible. Oh, my Hay God. Hay tres cárcavas. Y no oh se puede God. salir. Oh, I'm Me so tiré desde sorry. las 4.40 hasta las 5.25 para lograr agarrar bus para bajar. A metro. Oh my God, so you were walking. Y eh, me subí como a las 55 allá en el redondo del Luceiro. Ooh. Un poquito abajito del redondo del Luceiro. Y llegué al Andrés Bello a las 7. Mm. Oh, señor. Ay, Dios mío. Y ahí Dios. me he venido en lo primero que hallé buscando mi casa. <ríe> oh my God. He transbordado think... cuatro veces por venir. Uh -huh. I think con... you may feel upset. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. I'm angry. And yeah. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry. Teacher. Me too, me too. Uh -huh. Tell me. My conversation quedó en el chat anterior. I am hungry, teacher. I'm sorry? My, conver my conversation quedó en el chat y no la logré copiar toda. Oh, God. Um... Can you reopen your chat and see if it is, uh, well, I don't know if I send you there again, just. Pero ya no se guarda, creo. Pero tengo una parte, solo voy a completarlo con lo que recuerdo. Okay, okay. Le vamos a subir, ¿verdad? Para subir yes. una sola vez. Yes, okay, okay. please submit it. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have to submit your conversation to the platform, all right? So on the platform, you just paste it and, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, what was your experience reading these heavy language? Tell me. 
A ver, comentarios. ¿Cómo sintieron esa lectura así de lenguaje bastante serio, técnico y algo pesado? A ver, cuéntame. The first time so was very large. But okay. then uh, was uh, was some easy understood because uh, uh, I was recognize some words conforme um, o a medida I yo iba leyendo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was reading. All right, all right, because uh, you know some vocabulary, you know some vocabulary, and now you know how this is applied, how you can use these words, okay? It's interesting, right? Is there any other comment about the reading? ¿Algún otro comentario acerca de la lectura? Es similar a lo que dice la compañera. Eh, como usted lo menciona, es algo pesadito, bastantes palabras eh, como técnicas, correcto, son muy técnicas, desconocidas hasta el momento todavía para mí, uh -huh. porque solamente se hizo un entendimiento general, uh -huh. y como lo hizo saber el compañero Rafael, ¿verdad? Ya nos comentó en su experiencia y ya, ya vimos un poquito, le entendimos un poquito más a la, al texto, oh, okay. pero... Pero por lo, como le digo, por lo, solamente un conocimiento general. Okay, good, good. Okay, these are policies from a driving school. So uh, it's applicable to any kind of company because they are policies of attendance, of schedule, there is a dress code and... Uh, Chating. Uh, I'm sorry? Chating, scheduling. <laughs> yes, uh -huh. the grading, yes. Mm -hmm. Grading is right here, I mean, similar to Insoform, right? It's similar because you have to get the... <laughs> Tell us your experience, Henry. <laughs> I know you're upset with because it. The, because your tests are, are, are an uh, open book. <laughs> they are tests. They are tests, uh-huh. They are yes. tests uh, are with, with open book. Yes. Uh -huh. They can check in their books at the time they are answering their tests. Yes. Son a libro abierto esos exámenes. Uh -huh. Okay, continue, Henry. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Reconociendo lo que ya sabemos para ir entendiendo, ¿verdad? Porque la idea no era entender palabra por palabra, sino que comprender, ¿ok? Comprender, que es muy diferente. Okay. Comprender el contenido de, 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 la, de todo la, el párrafo. Teacher. En general, exacto. En general, general, como decía Wilber, ¿verdad? Reconocen una palabra y les da toda la idea, aunque no sepan palabrita por palabrita, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. eh, hay una técnica que se llama skimming, cuando uno lee. Esa técnica lo que hace es que usted va viendo lo que le interesa, ¿ok? Lo que le interesa y lo que conoce. Y eso le da la idea de todo el documento, ¿verdad? Uh, just one second. One second, because I can see your... Oh, God. Okay. Mm -hmm. I had a problem here. We can barely hear you. We can barely hear you, Henry. Uh, I think you are... Coming in and coming out. Hello. Okay, there you are. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a driving school. Policies mm -hmm. of driving school. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't know that mm -hmm. this is I'm sorry, Henry. No, it's not possible to hear your idea. It's not possible. I think you have a question. Can you okay? This is reasonable. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Oh, okay, Hernan, you may start. You may start. Okay. <clears throat> hey, Henry, look, I want to know uh, what policies, uh, procedures, procedures, procedure, and responsibility have in the dry school. Henry, sure, I tell you. Yeah. Hello? Please read it. Hello. Oh, okay. Okay, Karen. Perdón, perdón, me, me salté ahí. Mm, but ensure I tell you, you should know the attendance police. You must attend uh, any <laughs> the high scores. 80%. 80%. <laughs> 84% the whole uh, calls. Okay, thank you very much. You may stop sharing, Henry. You may stop sharing. All right, thank you. Now let's listen to, uh, let's look at Wilbur, your conversation. And Eric and Ellen Nilsson, please uh, get ready. Ok, teacher. Uh -huh. Solamente esto logramos escribir porque estábamos planeando todo, teacher. Okay. Nada más. Ok, let's try. Go ahead. Try, try. Ok. Eh... Alexander. Hey, Alexander. I want to know... What policies do have uh, the driving school? Well, the first tip you should know is uh, uh, have the complete 80%. Uh, if you do, do it this, uh, you had to pay the, uh, a refund. Uh, five dollars uh, for each classroom. Okay. What time? What time during the course? I. What time during the course? Ah, uh, the during the during the during class uh, driving class. <clears throat> uh, the during. Uh. Class driving one hundred five days. Yes, and but uh, each class has uh, two hours. Uh, it has uh, the hours uh, you you prefer. Uh, it has uh, I don't know from different to... schedules. Different schedule. Okay, okay, it has different schedule like. Uh, 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 to, uh, for, for example, on Monday, Wednesday, and Wednesday. Uh, the Monday we had the class, the schedule uh, uh, seven seven thirty to nine nine thirty, and the afternoon we had the class uh, the one one thirty to three thirty. Uh, for example. Okay. What happen? Uh, what happen if if you miss uh, one class? Ah, if you don't notify, you must pay a refund. Okay, so okay. you should notify. You should notify. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. You should notify. Yes, yes. You should notify an avoidable, an avoidable absence. It says something like that, right? Uh huh. Okay. If you don't attend a class, you pay an extra fee of $5, all right? Okay. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, thank you very much. You did a very good effort. I know you understood all the content. So let's listen to Ellen Nielsen and Eric. Okay, teacher, we did it with Eric on some policies, not an all, right? Okay. So <laughs> let's do this, Eric. <laughs> Hello, Eric, how are you? Hello, I'm, I am good. Okay, have you seen the driving student policies? Yeah, I was checking out. Okay, you should be, you should be eight consecutive weeks. Uh, another one is your show. By uh, five dollars per absence. 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 Okay. If you absence. Okay. Absence. Okay. If you don't achieve eighty percent you'll be deficient deficient yes, deficient. Mm -hmm. yes it's uh, yes it, it's true ah okay yes it's true and um, what about classroom school schedule schedule well Class will be Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 10.30 to 12.30 a.m. and 3.30 to 5.30 p.m. I see. Uh, we should in our opportunities? You shouldn't? Yes, we have. Be. Oh, okay. uh -huh. be. Remember that it is the infinitive. Okay, you shouldn't be. I you shouldn't opportunities. Uh, yeah, in this case, teacher. Uh huh. What What is the idea? Because the the idea is uh we have opportunities. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, like uh, tenemos oportunidades o hay oportunidades pero más que todo tenemos oportunidades uh, should uh, but it, there I think you cannot use you Shouldn't. should no you cannot you should maybe you can get another like um, uh, we have we have some opportunities okay we have yeah, some but, opportunities yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Okay. Say the say the first sentence. Digan la primera oración, la anterior. We shouldn't have opportunities. Ahí lo que está diciendo nosotros Or... no deberíamos tener oportunidades. Exacto, no deberíamos. Ajá. No debería, o sea, es una pregunta. O debería ser have shouldn't. No, 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 tendría que ser shouldn't we have Shouldn't we oh, have okay, opportunity? Okay. 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 No deberíamos yeah. tener oportunidades, right? Mm -hmm. Shouldn't we have opportunities? Okay. And the answer is yes, we have. Uh, no, yes, we should. Oh, yes, yeah, we should. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, we okay. should. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, we should. Mm -hmm. And the last one, Eric. Yes, okay. Yeah. That uh, that sounds uh, good. I don't sound good. Okay, que que no lo veo bien. <laughs> okay, that sound good. Okay. Okay, that's it, teacher. Okay, great. Bye, bye, Eric. Bye, bye, Alan Nielsen. All right. See you tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice conversation. Okay, let's okay. listen to Rosa and Blanca. Okay. Rosa. Okay. Eh, proyectará usted o en la plataforma. Lo subí a la plataforma y se lo mandé al chat también. Permítame ahorita. Okay, okay. Ahí está. Chao. Eh, comienzo. Okay. <laughs> Hi Rosa. I would like to know, are many policies in your classroom? Yes, there are many policies. 
And what policies have in your classroom? The classroom schedule are from Monday to Friday from 10 a.m. a.m. to 12.30 afternoon. Okay, in my case, my classroom schedule are from Monday to Friday from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. And for grading, you need archive 80% or better in the classroom and behind the well in order to pass the course. Yeah, and you shouldn't copy and test because any copy and shouldn't might result in exposure, in expulsion, I, in expulsion from the program without refund. Yes, and you should attend this policy because if you don't complete the course or miss it or more than three or uh, 50, 15 days, you lost the program and don't have a refund. Oh, okay, Rosa. Thank you for the information. Have a nice day. You are welcome, Blanca. See you soon. Excellent, excellent. You, you just have to uh, be careful with the questions, all right? Questions, uh, the grammar question. Let's do this on the chat, all right? Remember, questions with should, they start with should, plus, mm, just give me one second, plus the subject, all right? Plus the subject. plus the verb in the base form, all right? And then the complement, and of course, the question mark. So that's the mm, question structure, okay? Should, subject, verb, and complement. About those other that you know, for example, you said, uh, what policies you have? Uh, so if you say, what policies do you have, all right? Do you have, remember, questions. Uh, so like okay, this, teacher. what policies do you have? And it's in there, right? Mm -hmm. So and so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. What policies do you have? So remember the structure of questions, okay? First, the WH word, then the auxiliary uh, verb that it could be do, it could be did, it could be should, could, can, all the auxiliaries goes in that position in the question, all right? And then the verb and then the complement, all right, there you are. Now, and then the subject okay. and then the verb and then the complement, all right? Okay, you did a very good job, guys. I know this uh, took longer than we expected, but I think it was because at the beginning, not everybody was into the instructions, okay? Yo creo que se nos alargó porque al principio tal vez no todos estaban dentro, entonces no todos escucharon las instrucciones, ¿verdad? Entonces tocó que en el... En el grupo estar explicándose, ¿verdad? Para poder comprender lo que iban a hacer. Así que por eso cuando vayamos al, al, al breakout room, acordémonos siempre, hagamos las preguntas necesarias para saber qué es lo que vamos a ir a hacer, ¿ok? Bueno, so let's continue with our topic for today, because today is our video conference number 17, ¿ok? Number 17. One second. And uh, the unit four is about procedures and policies. And the thing here is the procedure for permissions, okay? The procedure for permissions. What are we going to use in the expressions to ask for permission? Uh, remember that for the past tense or for the very polite language, we use could. So today we are learning how to use good for permissions, okay? How to use good for permissions. That's our topic for today. And remember that when we ask for permission, usually it's a question, okay? 
It's a question. And when we want to ask for possibilities, then we use affirmative, okay? Uh, we use affirmative sentences or we use negative sentences too, but usually we use uh, affirmative sentences, okay? So let's look into this topic, how to use could. And the objective for tonight is but that by the end of this lesson, you will be able to use, hey, this is not the one. This is not the one. I don't know where is the other one. No sé dónde está. Okay, allow me to see this. To use could for permissions, okay? Aquí le vamos a ver, aquí arriba en el lesson plan, we have that. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to use could for possibilities in context. There we have a conversation and a manual to see the way or mm, a way how to use could for possibilities and to ask for permission. All right. So allow me to go there. Let me open this. So our agenda, our agenda for tonight, it was the feedback, then the topic and the class presentation. Just give me one second, I want to share this. Here it is. Mm -hmm. So we are going to role play the conversation on page 41, our breakout room. Uh, it was going to be to practice the conversation, even though we are going to do it here together. And a written exercise on page 42. The session one on one is available, and this is your video conference number 17. So let's start by the conversation on page 41. Okay, on page 41. So these three people are talking. Okay, there is a situation here that we need to um, comprehend what is going on. What is going on here? Something is wrong. And one of these employees is worried, okay? Let's see how they managed this situation, all right? It says, good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can't go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. You could ask her permission. He's right. You could go to the HR department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Let's read it again. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can't go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. He is right. You could go to HR department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Okay. We want to listen to Eric and Rafael Antonio, please. Role play this conversation. Okay. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. I am okay. Wait, 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 Rafael. Eric is playing, I mean, uh, playing with you, okay. and we need another one. We need another one. We need Karen, please. Julie? Okay. Hello, <laughs> Hank. I'm okay, but Betty is not. Okay, you're a Hank, Rafael. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can go see her tomorrow. Okay, Betty was Eric. <laughs> es que son tres los de la conversación. ¿Se acuerdan? Oh, my God. Rafael, oh, Eric, y Karen. Sí? Rafael, Eric, y Karen. Rafael es Hank, Julie is Karen, and Betty le vamos a poner Eric, okay? Vamos a ver. Eric, ready? Yes. Okay. 
Let's start over. Please, time Good morning. Time. Okay. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Julie. I'm lost. <laughs> Karen, He's Julie. Right. You could go to HR department and request a form. <laughs> I'm sorry, Karen. Okay, vamos a comenzar otra vez. Va, vamos a comenzar okay. otra vez. Hank, acaba de... Ajá, okay. But good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. I'm okay, but Betty is not. Freddy, what's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I am sorry. To hear that you call has for permission. 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 For permission. He's right. You could go to HR department and request a form. Will I mention the reason for the permission? Yes. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Okay, nice. Miren, la he leído ya varias veces y esto no me había fijado que está Julie Julie. Okay. Teacher, Tell me. Déjeme adivinar el mismo que hace la plataforma con las palabras de todos, <laughs> también escribe eso. No way, no way. <laughs> oh, Te lo oh, cambian, oh. teacher. <laughs> No, así como, ¿se acuerdan en las, en las conferencias de prensa? El chamaco de las gráficas. Yeah. <laughs> the slide guy, the slide guy, yeah. So we have a slide guy here too, but uh, he does a really good job, all right? Um, yeah, let's say that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hace más cosas buenas que malas, all right? <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, this is funny, guys. This is really funny. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver otros tres. Vamos a escuchar. Mm, Wilber, Blanca en Rosa. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Han. I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong with it? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. He is right. You could go to HR department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Hazel, are you available now? Or are you still as a listener? Hazel? Hola, teacher. Sí. Right. Okay, then. Hazel, Claudia, and Magdiel. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. who, who is I? You are Hank. Oh, okay. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. I am up, but Barry is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can't go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. Hey, is right. You could go to HR department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permissions? Yes, absolutely. All right. You have never to lie. All right. You never have to lie. All right, guys. Now, we have a 
comprehension activity, we have to define what is the problem with Betty? What is the problem with Betty? Carlos Roberto, what is the problem with Betty? Thanks, teacher. I, I'm uh -huh. Serge. Okay. Uh, the conversation. Uh -huh. Thanks. Here it is. Here it is. Yeah. Is she? Well, I have one. I'm sorry. Her mother is sick. Okay. Her mother is sick. Mm, that wouldn't be a problem, right? If she has someone to take care of her mom. But the problem here is that uh, nobody else can go see her. Nobody else can look after her mother. Okay, that is the real problem, that she needs to go and look after her mother, all right? Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so that is the big problem here. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver. Do you know someone who had a similar situation? Do you know someone who had a similar situation? Have you ever had a situation like this one? Maybe not with Me? your mom. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us um, about it? But in my case, uh, in my case, my my sister live with 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 my mom and um, me too. So, uh, in, in, in the past, my mom was uh, not sick uh, actually, but she se le atoró un a piece of meat. Uh, meat and okay, a, a ball, ball meat. Okay, in, in it the, was uh, in the garganta. So, folk, um, uh, so folk, something like that. Just give me one second. It is like a choke, but choke, choke, I think it is. Just give me one second. Mm -hmm. Throat. Mm -hmm. No, one second. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I found a very funny word here, but no, it's not that way. All right. It is. Yeah, shook. I think it is. Teacher shook. and the mm -hmm. attendant. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Just one second and let me see. They, that is translation. Uh huh. It's a choke. Uh, sh she chokes. Chokes. Like C H O K E. Okay. Okay. And she shows a uh, uh, ball of the meat of meat. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, in two days she can't eat and drink water. So oh. my my sister, uh, she she la llevó. She took her. She, uh, took she took her. her. Uh, the, okay, she took her at uh, the uh, the hospital. Um, to the hospital? Yeah, in the hospital, her garganta. Her throat. Mm -hmm. uh, how, how, how do you say? Throat. Throat. Ah, throat. Her, mm -hmm. her, her throat was uh, hinchada. Okay, it was flame, right? Okay. Uh -huh. what? It's was uh, flame, uh, one second. Uh, one second. It is in flame. Mm -hmm. Okay, and flame, and flame. Mm -hmm. What's in flame? What's in flame? Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. What was in flame? And the the doctors, uh, injectaron. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, okay, she had a shoot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, she had a shoot, and her frog, uh, se. Se deshinchó. No, 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 okay. no sé cómo decir todo. Uh, uninflamed. Uninflamed. Mm -hmm. Uninflamed. Mm -hmm. And she, she, she started to cough. Toser, creo que es cough, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. She started to cough and she can uh, live. Mm -hmm. 
o expulsar, no sé, dejar, soltar. Expelled. Expelled uh, the, the, the piece of the meat, bottle, bottle of the meat. All right. Uh, well, thank that God. That was our case. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Well, it was uh, maybe it, that that was an accident, right? That was an accident and she needed some medical assistance and you needed yes. to be with her to assist her too. All right, nice. Uh, thank you for sharing your experience. Uh, was it long ago? Fue hace bastante tiempo? Um, no, it actually it was in this year. Uh, oh five or six months ago, month ago. Okay, okay. Well, sorry to hear that. I hope she is okay and she doesn't have any uh, sequel, right? Because, no, mm, no. yeah. It's... She's okay in this moment. Nice, yeah. nice. Oh. Thank God, yeah. thank God. All right, guys. Is there anyone who had a similar situation? But no, you sure. okay? Uh, have you ever had a work absence for a situation uh, like this one? Maybe a sickness from someone else or an accident, an emergency, uh, someone that nobody else could cover you, okay? Or nobody else could assist you or assist anybody that you assist, for example, your children, right? Or maybe something else. Have you ever had an experience like that? I missed to my work in June because my baby was sick mm -hmm. and she had a very hard infection and I went to the hospital and I took all day to take to took some exams and evaluations by the doctor and was so tired because uh, I can't sleep mm -hmm. because I was um, pendiente Panting. Uh -huh. for my baby and she was uh, you were alert you were alert for me. you were alert yes I was alert for my baby because she was uh, how can I say vomitando uh, throwing away throwing away she was throwing away all night oh, and God. it was a bad experience because I even never had. And how uh, many days did okay. it, I mean, how many days did it take for her to recover? Mm, she was uh, three days, um, three days. And, but I missed one day because uh, the in this this day was a uh, a weekend and oh, okay. i have i have to miss friday and then i have weekend Saturday off. and sunday to yes yes okay mm -hmm. el, la, so el, what's the bad experience okay cuidar a alguien así es look after okay i had to look after her I had to look after her. La tuve que cuidar. Okay? Okay. I had to look after her. I had to take, I mean, uh, I had to took care like this, right? Took care of her, okay? I had to took care of her. Cualquiera de esos dos, la tuve que cuidar, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. There you are. Thank you very much for sharing, and I'm so sorry to hear that experience. It's really sad when our kids are sick, right? It's very sad when our um, husband or your wife is sick too, or your mom, your father, or any relative, any relative. It's sad. It's sad. And sometimes uh, we have to... Mm, uh, to have a work absence. We have to report days and have a leave, take a leave, right? A leave permission. Okay, then what is the procedure? What is the procedure in your jobs to ask for a permission of this kind? What is the procedure? What means procedure? El procedimiento que hay que seguir para pedir permiso. 
Okay, in my case, I went to the doctor and the, the doctor gave me some exams that I have to, to take for my baby and I sent a picture to my supervisor and I and I said to her okay. that I have, have to take some exams for my baby and she sent uh, the picture to my boss and the boss sent to her age a uh, humans HR department yeah, H, uh, earth uh, yes H R H oh, okay no. HR human HR. resources mm -hmm. okay department and only that and okay. and she helped me help me in okay. this moment all right all right well the procedure is to present proofs right to present proofs yes. of the situation maybe medical proofs Maybe you have to take picture of the accident or the traffic jam where yeah. you are, right? And if and it's and if it's possible, I I had to send a picture that my baby was oh. uh, bad, or I had to send a picture that I was in the hospital because uh, they have a a, a, a proof. Yeah. Okay. They file. Uh, your permission, okay? They file, yes. ellos registran su permiso en su expediente, in your file yes. or in your profile. All right, thank you very much, Blanca. Okay, usually we have to do that, right? Usually in every company, they ask for a proof. Usually it's a certification from your doctor that you are sick or maybe that your family or your... Mm, relatives are sick and you are the one authorized to assist this person. So they have to extend a document for you to prove to your company and also to get paid because there are some leaves that are paid and you should be paid for these absences because it's not your fault, right? It's not your fault. So you should be paid for these absences. Maybe sometimes they make a discount of the, uh, for these absences. Yes. But uh, by law, we have some rights. We need to be aware of those rights, okay? Because they have obligations and we have rights. We have obligations and they as employers have rights too. We have to be aware of that. Okay, guys. So let's think about the procedure because the procedure is the important part here. First. You have to ask for the permission. You have to ask for the permission. How do you ask for a permission? How do you ask for a permission? Let's look at this one. For example, when you are going to skip a class in uh, these courses, you usually have to ask the teacher, right? If it is possible to skip a class because you have a situation, okay? And uh, you may ask this question, okay? You may ask this question. Could I skip class tomorrow? I need to finish a report from my job, okay? Ahora, tenemos dos experiencias acá. Tenemos la de Carlos Roberto y tenemos la de Blanca. ¿Cómo podríamos hacer una pregunta para que ellos pidieran permiso? Vamos a ver acerca de lo de Roberto, okay? We have to explain the situation, okay? We have to say what's the problem. Okay, for example, could, mm -hmm. empecemos por ahí. Yo voy a usar could. Ayúdenme a hacer la pregunta para que Carlos Roberto pida permiso, okay? Could you send a permission? A ver, vamos a ver si tiene sentido acá. Could you? Él tiene que ir a pedir permiso o él tiene que llamar y pedir permiso. Could you give me a permission? Ajá, give Sería grant, ¿ok? Grant, esa es la palabra o el verbo para que me autoricen el permiso, ¿ok? Could you grant oh. a permission, ¿ok? Could you grant could a permission? Be... Yes, could I get? Ok, could I get 
what? A, permi a permission. Okay, a permission. Okay. A permission. Could, could is giving us the opportunity. That word by itself has that meaning, okay? Solo la palabra could ya puede ser traducida como una ayuda para pedir el permiso. Sometimes Teacher. it's not, uh -huh. Black. Sorry, in this case, what grant is more polite for, for mm. give a pair uh, uh, entre grant and give is better grant. Yes, it's better grant. Mm -hmm. It's okay. better grant. Grant is como concederme. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's more polite than could you give me? Uh, yes. And in these cases, I think it's better to use grant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Give is, on, is only pass a thing to your hands, right? It could be just that. But grant is more profound. It's deeper to mean it. That meaning, okay? So if okay. I say, for example, could, only could, mm -hmm. cualquiera de esas dos que han dicho está muy bien, okay? Veamos cómo está el ejemplo anterior. Could I skip class tomorrow? ¿Qué es lo que yo voy a pedir? Ah, voy a pedir un tiempo fuera del trabajo, ¿verdad? Could I get some time off, okay? Could I get some time off? Then I explain what is the situation. What is the situation? Mm -hmm. For example, uh, with the experience, I mean, Carlos Roberto's experience, it will be I, or in este caso puede ser uh, my mom. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué, ¿Cómo podemos decir lo que él dijo? A ver. ¿Cuál fue el problema? Le podríamos decir, my mom needs medical assistance. Ok. Medical assistance. And I need to take her to the hospital. All right. Vamos a ver, por ahí, ¿vamos bien? Tenemos que definir el problema y aprender a definir los problemas en una oración, ¿ok? My mom, subject, needs, verb, and then the complement. What does she Teacher. need? Uh -huh. Teacher, ¿te puede decir, my mother is sick and need to go to the doctor? Yes, my mother is sick and needs... Going to the Dutch. Yes, you can say that. Mm -hmm. It's going to the Dutch. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Pero el asunto es que usted tiene que explicar por qué usted tiene que ir. Porque ahí va a decir, está bien que vaya, ¿verdad? Le va a decir el jefe. Más hay unos jefes que, ay, Dios mío. Vea, le dice, ah, vaya, está bien, está enferma. Bueno, que vaya. <laughs> Pero, ¿por qué usted debe faltar? Eso es lo que usted tiene que eh, definir. Why? Why you ah, have... Okay, okay. Uh -huh. Entonces... Uh -huh. eh, y también podríamos aplicar la palabra en vez de could, may. Mm, yes, of course, of course, because it's for permission. It's for permission yeah. too. But this is as a possibility. Okay, it's not only permission; it's possibility of getting that permission. Okay, okay? could be both. Could be both, depending on the way you use it. Depending on the way you use it. Okay, because I can ask, for example, may I take my mom to the hospital today in the afternoon could i get a leave right could i get an early leave right so it's kind of different the structure but yes you can use it mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. i saw someone there 
Oh, Rafael, you are you you are wearing your glasses. Aha. Uh -huh. I didn't recognize you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> oh, the other Rafael is wearing glasses too. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I asked me why Rafael. Uh huh. Ooh. Both both are wearing <laughs> glasses. All right. Okay, yeah. guys, so this is the situation. We want to know how to ask for a permission. And we are going to use good for a possibility and for permission to, or the possibility to get the permission. So let's watch, I mean, how to uh, use the language in this cases, all right? I will erase all this, and then let's look at this short conversation. It's similar to the other one, but this is, um, uh, the person has the situation going to maybe her supervisor. Let's imagine that um, Betty was going to the supervisor to ask her the permission, okay? So look at this. Maybe she is in the HR, okay, office. So it says, could you excuse me? I have a request. No problem, tell me. Could I take a, a leave? Okay, could I take a leave work early this current week. My mom is in the hospital and nobody else can assist her. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, go to the HR and fill in the permission request form and I'll get it signed by the manager. I hope your mother gets well soon. Thank you. I really appreciate. All right, I will. Will I take a leave? Uh, could I take a leave or an early leave? Uh, leave sounds better. An early leave in work. Okay. Missing early this the love. Okay. Could I take an early leave this current week? There you are. My mom is in the hospital and nobody else can assist her. Is it okay? So now let's try to practice this. Uh, let's listen to Rafael Alexander and Carlos Ernesto. Rafael A, Carlos Ernesto B. Alexander? Can you hear me? Yes, now we can hear you. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Can you? So, sorry, uh, I am in the phone. In oh, the okay. Cell phone. Okay. Okay. Uh, could you excuse me? I have a request. No problem. Tell me. Um, could I take an early leave this current week? My mom is in the hospital and nobody else can assist her. I'm sorry to have that. Well, go to HR and fill in the permission request for an I got it's signed by the manager. I hope your mother gets well soon. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate it. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's listen. Hernan and Pedro, please. Hernan A, Pedro B. Okay. Uh, could you excuse me? I have a request. No problem, tell me. Could I take an early leave this current week? My mom is in the hospital and nobody also and can assist her. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, would go to HR and fill in the permission request Four, and you'll get it signed by the manager. I hope your mother uh, gets Wilson. 
Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. So this is the first step asking for permission or for a work absence, right? For a different reason than your than your health. For example, we saw last in the in that class, we saw the way how to call in sick. It was about your own healthy, right? Uh, your own health. But now we are asking or uh, for permission for another problem or a different problem, right? So let's go to our manuals. Let's go to our manuals. And in our manuals, we have some other reasons for work absence, okay? For work absence. And we uh, use could, okay, as a possibility or asking for permission too, okay? Now look, we request something, but as a possibility, okay? Remember, remember that as a possibility, we can use affirmative sentences, okay? One second. Here. Right here we are. If you see, to express possibility, we use affirmatives, right? We use affirmative sentences. And let's look at the structure. The structure is you could request a day off if you just express the problem and you don't know what to do. Then the other person can just come up with an idea or as a possibility, right? And they can offer a possibility or an option of what you can do. So you could request a day off, for example. And then it says, you could talk to your supervisor or the manager. She could explain her situation. We could take the company's transportation. Okay, these, these are um, a, expressions for possibility, okay? It may happen, it may not happen, okay? Lo que tú podrías hacer, ¿verdad? Mira, lo que vos podés hacer es ir y decirle al jefe, pues de todas maneras es tu derecho, okay? Eso lo decimos de esta manera, okay? We say that in this way, we use could, all right? Anda, explicale vos, anda, explicale. ¿Por qué no le, vos le podrías explicar? Okay, then she could explain her situation, okay? So if you see, sometimes we want to translate things in a different way, just as we speak, but there are structures. Remember, subject, then the auxiliary verb, could, then the verb, it's talk, request, explain, take, etc. And then the complement, all right? So let's look at these uh, situations. <clears throat> Read the situations and write a sentence expressing possibility with could. Share the sentences with your classmates. Uh, we are going to share the, the sentences here because you are going to give me the sentences. So you don't have a car, imagine your car is broken, right? At the time that you are living home, your car doesn't start. Hmm. So if you don't have a car to go to your job and you have to explain that as a possibility of a thing that you could do, okay? Vamos a ver, una oración afirmativa. ¿Qué podríamos hacer if you don't have a car? What could you do? What could you do? Ajá. Uh -huh. Así. Una oración afirmativa usando could. Uh -huh. You could get on the bus. Okay. You could take the bus. 
Okay, you could take the box. Hmm. En nuestro país sería agarra un bubo. Va, entonces sería take a bus. Okay, take a bus. Porque hay diferentes rutas y casi que cualquiera lo lleva, ¿verdad? O no sabemos cuál lo va a llevar a su trabajo, pero le estamos dando la posibilidad. Entonces sería a. Ah. Ahora, si hay un bus que vaya directo a su trabajo y es como la única ruta o incluso el, el del trabajo, ¿verdad? El transporte del trabajo, entonces decimos the bus, es definido, ¿ok? But an indefinite will be a, uh, ¿ok? Got it? Ok, someone of your family is sick. What could you do? You could... A ver, Hazel, what could you do if someone of your family is sick? ¿Qué podría hacer? Pedir permiso para cuidarla. Ok, entonces decimos, you could ask for permiso. Mm -hmm. For permiso. Okay, mm -hmm. for permission to uh, take care of him or her, right? Or mm -hmm. her. Okay, nice. What about number three, Karen? You need to request a legal document. What could you do? You could ask your um, the legal department for request. Okay, it says you need to request a legal document. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You could uh -huh. ask to the legal department to request. Entonces, you could request it. Así. To the legal department? Yes. Okay. Because I need a, a request of a legal document. Any, any, uh, how do I say it? Wait, I need to order my ideas. Okay. Oh. Oh, any, any, Ay, how hmm? do you say that word? <gasps> Come on. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. I come down. Okay. <laughs> Settle I think down. Another... Um... Ay, how do you say empresa? Come on. Enterprise? <laughs> Company? Uh-huh. Company, company, I'm sorry. Okay. Many company has a legal legal department mm -hmm. for any cases. So when we need a, a, any document, we go to the legal legal department. Mm -hmm. We go to the 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 place and ask okay. about it. You could go to the legal department. For they to request it. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, maybe I got this wrong, but the idea here is that you go to your to the legal department of your company. Yes. Uh, for they to do the request. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. For they to request. Okay. All right. If it is related to the company, right? If it is related to the company. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, nice. What about uh, Ellen Nilsson? If you feel tired or sick, what could you do? Uh, you could make a medical appointment. Okay, you could make a medical appointment. 
disappointment. All right. Nice. Now let's make a reason up, okay? Uh, let's make a reason up and then we say what is the solution or what could be the possibility or the possible action. So can you give me an example of, of a, a situation like this one? Mm -hmm. uh, teacher, mm -hmm. I, I find a crash car in the on the road. Okay. Uh, if I find a crash, a car crash, car accident, right? Cra crash. True story today. <gasps> All right, on the road. So what could you do? No, it's bring here and uh, and we with my partner uh, too late today. Okay. You have I mean you could be patient on the road. <laughs> yeah, okay. You uh-huh. ¿Cuál sería la posibilidad si usted encuentra un, un accidente en la calle? ¿Qué puede hacer? What could you do? Mm -hmm. I report to my boss. Excellent. You could report the tardiness, we could say. Como aprendimos ayer esta palabra, okay? The tardiness to my boss. Okay. To you to your boss. I'm sorry. To your boss. So yes, these are only possibilities. Okay, these are possibilities. This could is not bien. Could tiene diferentes significados. Hemos aprendido que puede ser para hacer requests in a very polite way. Okay, could you help me with this? Could you give me this information? Could I help you with that, right? So those are requests and also offerings, okay? Offerings in a polite way. Now we see that we can use could for possibility, possibility. And there is another meaning for could that it is ability, okay? Ability in the past. I could ride a bike when I was young, okay? I could, not a possibility, not asking or requesting politely, but I could do it. I was able to do it, okay? Now that I am older, I can ride a bike, all right? That's the difference of meanings for this word. It has a lot of uses and we have to be careful when we use could, all right? When we use could. Si es una palabra muy útil, así que pongámosle mucho cuidado. Nos vamos a quedar hasta aquí. Time is over. And allow me to um, do the roll calling. Please remember you have to Turn your cameras on and say present. And I call your names. Okay, everyone. Is there any questions so far? Questions? Are we okay? All right. Okay. Bueno, acordémonos que ya ahorita es viernes y que pues tiene que quedar todo en regla en la plataforma, irnos poniendo al día. Ajá. Y el cuerpo lo sabe. Oh, ok. I couldn't uh -huh. expect less. I couldn't expect less, right? Right. En mi trabajo le dices viernes de atolito de maíz tostado. And how come? What is that? What is that? De atolito 
that you're yeah. really tired. Yes. Eh, no, lo que pasa es que eh, en la oficina llegamos y tomamos café todo lo, toda la semana en las mañanas, pero a veces eh, llega una señora y vende atol. Ahí <laughs> queda. Okay. All right. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. I love atolito de maíz tostado. Mm, I really love it. Yes, me too. Mostly when it is raining. Ooh, delicious to feel this. Oh, it's really comfortable. It's like comfort it. food, right? I'm sorry, Karen. I miss it. Do you I miss can I can drink it. Can you? Why? How come? I can I I can drink milk. Oh, so sorry. I prepare it. It's not it. for me because I love that bolitos. <laughs> oh, but I with make a, them. Uh -huh. With a pair tamales. What? Con un par de tamales. <laughs> nice. Delote, yeah. por favor. Oh, God. Uh -huh. No, but I prepare my own atolito, yeah, with dilatos, right? Dilatos. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yes. Delicious. Andrea Sofía Benítez Gómez. <coughs> Atol de coco es excelente. Haven't tried it. I haven't had that. It my, sounds my mom, good. My mom is in the cooking the atol de coco. I have yeah. never heard that. Neither did Me I. Mm, God, it sounds delicious. It sounds, I love coconut, but... I had some trouble with my stomach when I eat uh, coconut. Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez. Present teacher. Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Carlos Roberto Alemán Present Prudencio. Present teacher. Okay, teacher. All right, Carlos Roberto. Uh, Claudia Yamilet Coreas. Present teacher. Okay. Elenilson Aparicio del Cid. Present teacher. Eric Jose Hernández Campos. Present teacher. Okay. Hazel Elizabeth Navarro de Cervellón. Present teacher. Henry Alberto Pérez Rosales. Present teacher. Hernán Antonio Chacón López. Present teacher. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Juan entró, no Present me di teacher. cuenta qué horas entró. Wow. No con esto, teacher. Ok. Didn't, oh, ok. I Pero... Okay, but you are in now. That's what is, I mean, that's what matter. Uh, Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present teacher. Okay. Magdiela Saúl García Morales. Present teacher. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Present teacher. Rafael Antonio Barrera Díaz. Present teacher. Okay. Ricardo Tony Mendoza Castro. Uh, he's not here, right? Can't see it. Can't see him. Rosa del Carmen Santa Maria Tobar. Present teacher. Mm -hmm. um, Wilber Alberto Perez Mendez. Present teacher. Jose Abel Isaguirre Mendoza. Present teacher. There you are, Abel. I didn't see you. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Pedro Al Alexander Osorto Sanchez. Present teacher. All right. I didn't see you before, Abel. I didn't see you. Okay. Okay, people, uh, video conference number 17, so session one on one number 17. <laughs> you know, it was for Ricardo, Tony, and he's not in. So Rosa del Carmen is the next one in the list. Do you want to stay in the session one on one? Would you like? Rosa? Got you this connection. Um, uh, there you no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> eh, no sé si podía alguien más ahora. Okay. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Don't feel uh, pressed, okay? Don't feel pushed. Okay. okay, let's see. Next one is Wilber Alberto. Do you want to stay? Would you like to stay? Okay, no problem. Okay, then, Atolito, then. There you are. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
Okay, everybody, please do your homework and see you Monday. Have a very good weekend. Have a good night. Have a good night. See you Monday. See you. See you. Se quedaron ahí colgados. Sí, eso veo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. ok. Here we are. How can I assist you, Wilbert? Tell me. Mm, well, I was waiting for my last class okay. for a uh, uh, despedirse. Ah, to say bye or to, to say, say goodbye. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, I was waiting my turn for my for say bye. Okay. But, okay, <laughs> it's okay. Okay, no problem. You can reengancharse. <laughs> okay, okay, uh -huh. good, good, good. Yeah, good. second round, second round. <laughs> yes, this is my second round okay. for so many questions, but um, mm -hmm. uh. I was looking for uh, some words like uh, uh, pill, no, issue. 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 It means uh, problemas. A situation. It could be problematic and also they can be just a situation that maybe uh, gets you upset or is not comfortable. <laughs> to go through that uh, situation, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yes, I was matching with the, with the other words, like a problem, problem mm -hmm. and issues. And so I was looking the the, the, the reason for each one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what did you find out? Mm -hmm. mm. Well, um, I uh, I think a problem it's like like a problem as a I don't know physical a situation emotional mm. something like that I don't know but mm -hmm. issues but issues uh, uh I I I think is a problems but it was with uh, with a, with a, a work a job. And I have some news for you because there is another word. There is another word. So you have to, you know, have a battle on your mind with this other because issue is more like a matter. Okay. Matter. I will write it on the chat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Issue. It's like an important thing. I, or, I mean, a very important thing. Okay. Or relevant thing okay mm -hmm. like this Issue. relevant yes relevant mm -hmm. thing that sometimes can affect you in a bad way or in a situation that makes you look for a solution to get better from that situation okay but a problem is something that you have to look for a solution because it's causing it's really causing a harm or it's really giving you there is another word for problem trouble okay travel okay. so if you see issue it's like a relevant thing or a relevant relevant topic important topic uh now let's see matter matter is another where you have to look at okay and the other one was i said travel okay and problem sometimes they can become a synonym or, or synonyms but they have a slight difference, okay? okay? They have a slight difference because issue can be used in some situations, but maybe they don't match with problem sometimes. Okay, right? okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, then I could, I could say it's the same 
Um, it's the same with the words fix and repair. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Synonyms, but they're slight. Well, it's different just for a slightly topic or thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it becomes, I mean, it gets the meaning from the the speaker all right from the speaker or the i mean people gives the meaning to the to the words for example if you ask what's the matter okay what's the matter okay or i can ask what's the issue okay what's the issue what is the problem Okay, what is the problem? Mm -hmm. Ay, me sigue dando problema <laughs> porque me vuelve a corregir problem. Okay, what is the problem? <laughs> and you can also say what's the trouble. We can say mm, they travel. It, it doesn't sound mm, good. In, in that case, I think I will use uh what's wrong okay what's wrong in answer well the trouble is this and this and that right or the trouble or this is giving me trouble okay this is giving me trouble i'm having a hard time is another word to say problem too okay so it says what's wrong what's wrong okay uh let me see uh let me confirm something about trouble because trouble is an uncountable noun so the best way to ask about a trouble will be like what what they Yeah, what's the trouble? It's like, uh, I mean, what's the trouble will be the, the question. There is no other um, appropriate. Okay, what's the trouble? Pero aquí necesitamos un objeto, okay? So what's the trouble with? And then you say what, okay? Sometimes trouble is like anno an annoying thing, okay? Annoying, do you know what annoying is? Like this, annoying. No. Cosa molesta, que okay? una cosa eh, desagradable que le está molestando. Por ejemplo, an annoying noise, right? Or an interference is an annoying mm -hmm. noise, right? So something that okay. mm, is not, uh, I mean, it's giving you trouble. Yeah, it's giving you trouble, mm -hmm. something annoying. Okay. Okay. I'm having trouble with hearing you. Okay. I'm having trouble with uh, listening to you. It's the same hearing and listening. You see, there are words that give you a hard time. Okay. Hard time. Look. Uh huh. Similar words okay. and synonyms give you a hard time. Okay. ¿Sí me entiende? Bye. Los sinónimos para usted son los que le dan el hard time. El, un gran problema. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. Headache. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. But it's sí. interesting. It's very okay. interesting your point because you want to look for the correct word or the appropriate word in any situation. And yeah, it's good. It's good. You will find, you will find, I mean, if you continue this way, you will find the correct use and you are not going to be misusing these words. Excellent. Okay, That's thank excellent. You. Yes, yes, right. I, uh, yes. Uh, uh, de hecho, como puedo decir de hecho? In fact. In how, fact. How, how come? Like that. In fact, in fact. I, in fact. Mm -hmm. yes. Uh, in fact, uh, when we're talking about um, the topic on um, how to use idioms, mm -hmm. uh, 
another way for me another way to, to learn language english english language uh i listen to music like like a I, like i wrote that in that class mm -hmm. so uh, i was listening and reading a song that like says it says that uh, what song I I I uh I will type it. Uh, okay. Um, lo voy a escribir la el párrafo casi completo uh -huh. porque hay una frase que la dice es una palabra que es con color que es color azul pero es como una frase. Ah uh, okay. Vaya. Esta es la es una canción vieja. Uh, o creo que lo tengo en la foto creo que le tengo un screenshot lo que pasa es que yo, era, yo ya la estaba translating no, como decirle se me trabó la lap no ay déjeme ver permítame piche, permítame, permítame don't worry, take your time yo la, yo la estaba ya la estaba eh, Estaba juntando todo ese listado para las preguntas, pero como ya me agarró en curva, <risa> ya no lo hay. Permítame. Ok. Bueno, pero dice más o menos así la canción. O la, el par. Every single day, I think of the time when you're still mine and I blew. Más o menos así. Esa frase, and I blew. Blue or flu or no, and I'm blue. Mm, what song is it? Who sings the song? Uh, la canta Kansas, creo que se llama. Déjeme ver aquí. Le voy a compartir la pantalla. And I'm blue. Or and, and I'm blue. blue. And I'm blue. And I'm blue. Mm. And I'm blue. Oh, like feeling blue. Mm -hmm. Like a feeling blue. Como, uh -huh. pero yo lo siento. Yo creo que es como sentirse como que se siente bien. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Más o menos. Some like okay. that. Okay. That's what. Uh, but what does it say after that? ¿Cómo? What does it say after? ¿Qué, ¿Qué es lo que sigue? Because if you feel blue, for example, if you feel gray, for example. Uh, eh, eh, I, I guess he feel great because he was talking about her love, but she gone. And then I'm blue means feeling sad. All right. I'm blue. I'm feeling blue means feeling sad. Mm hmm it's mm. not feeling good okay but creo que lo voy a, let el, me look it grupo. up let me look sí. it up mm -hmm. okay. okay because uh, maybe I can find out the song just give me one second maybe if this is okay, okay. aquí lo tengo ya déjame ver si lo puedo compartir Esto. Lo tomé en screenshot. All right. <laughs> okay, every color has its meaning, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my God. Just give me one second. Give me one okay. second because I cannot see. Every single day, I think of the times when you were Still mine and I'm blue. Mm -hmm. No, this is that he's feeling sad. He's feeling sad. Mm -hmm. Sad. Um... Yes. He's feeling sad uh, when he every single day he's thinking uh, when he, this girl was still his, right? So, yeah, he felt sad because the girl is not with him, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bueno. 
Yeah, Basically. spelling set. Basically. Just let me uh, allow me to to look it up because I was looking for the gray that I was saying, but no, it was I okay. feel blue. Mm, let's say idiom. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Here we have a meaning. Yes, to feel sad. To feel blue means to feel sad. Mm -hmm. To feel sad. Don't feel blue. It means don't feel bad. Yo uh -huh. más o menos sabía que al traducirlo me iba a decir, me iba a sacar el color azul. Entonces no creo que iba a ser un pitufo. Uh, no, no. What you have to do is when you Google up something, then you write the keyword uh, to give you the idea. For example, if you say I'm feeling blue, maybe it's not going to give you exactly the meaning. Then you have to write idiom meaning. Yeah, or yeah. phrase meaning. Si no, lo va a llevar al diccionario de palabra por palabra. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes, but it's nice. It's nice that you have this, that you are so curious, okay? Because that makes you improve and add vocabulary to your vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yes, yes I try it. Well, uh, with my daughter, I uh, sometimes I get some. Um, Mm -hmm. And I ask her in English. Uh, basic with your word. brother? Bas uh, no, my daughter. Ah, with your daughter, all right. Yes, my daughter. I ask her uh, some question in English. She answered mm -hmm. me. Mm, basic excellent. question. That's excellent practice. Yes, excellent practice because you, um, you uh, feel, I mean, you feel your improvement, right? You feel your improvement every day because you practice the word that you learned yesterday. If you don't practice the word from yesterday, then you are going to forget. Yes, yeah, yes. You are going to forget. Sí, de hecho, hay palabras, así como le pasó a la compañera Karen, que olvidó esa palabra, company, así, así me pasa, creo que a cualquiera en realidad. Una look at me, sencilla. look at me, hey, hey, <laughs> you're talking about me. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it happens, it happens. Okay. Imagine when you are, I mean, I understand people when they say, uh, what is, what, what word was it, what word was it? And they use a different idea then, they, can, they build a different idea because they don't remember what they were going to say. Uh, I understand that people, I understand that people because uh when i well i was i have worked for different companies but mm, there was a company where i was in logistics and things right so in in this company i had a call every day to miami and they say i mean they told me they were giving me all the instructions and some business to do etc but sometimes I understood what they were saying, but I couldn't express what I needed to express. And then we got some misunderstandings. After when, I mean, after the call, when I remember the, or I looked thing ah, up, things up, yes. yes, then I sent the emails, right? I sent the emails correcting my idea, but it was, it was not so, uh often it was not so often but i understand it happens and it's really really a bad thing it's it's problematic it's problematic yeah but don't worry I you see. have to practice every day and you have yeah how to practice you uh -huh. okay yeah you have how to practice is there any other question no teacher como le digo me agarró en curva ya yeah. pero estamos bien Ya que dijo ese, busquémoslo, agarró en curva. A ver, ah, hay un sitio. Ese le voy a pasar a usted, Wilber. A ver, um, it says, uh, I think it was a hundred Spanish idioms. Spanish, Spanish idioms in English. I think it is. Yeah, I think this is. Maybe there we can find me agarró en curva. Yeah, it's not this one. 
there was a list of the idioms. No, it's not this one. Just give me one moment because I remember I had this. Y a veces los marco porque son sitios muy, muy útiles. Uh -huh. They were a hundred or something. Aha, this is, this is, so I'll send you the, the link. Okay. This is very interesting and it is really funny. It's really funny. Okay, here it is. Okay, that one is. Because it has the translation, it has the meaning, and it has the translation into English, the English translation yeah. too. So it has a very interesting thing. Yeah, and they same. are a hundred or something. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've got it. Yes. A ver si usted encuentra agarrar en curva. Okay. Y el lunes me dice. Lo vamos a buscar. Sí, porque agarrar en curva básicamente es un idioma como que... Muy de nosotros. Exactly. Entonces, uh -huh. a, habría que ver en, en qué se basa ese, ese sitio. <ríe> en qué idiomas. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y yeah, vamos a ver, vamos a ver, porque tiene que ser como idiom, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Mm. But it's meant by the Mexican. It, well, they say Mexican expression. But they're ah, Salvadoran. Bueno. It's Salvadoran. Hey, guys, come on. Tell them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've got to tell them. Uh, the boss question. Cut me, ah, cut me off guard. Uh -huh. Cut me off guard. Cut me off guard. Lo voy a escribir aquí para que se le quede. Tal vez lo encuentre en esa lista, pero. Cut me. Cut me off. Cut me off. Cut me off. Cut me off guard. Cut me off. Cut me off guard. Me voy a, uh -huh. espérame, lo voy a tomar una foto. Yeah. Uh -huh. Cut me off guard. Me agarró en curva. Me agarró sin protección. Right? Sería como ahí. O oh, me agarró sin buena postura. ¿verdad? Me agarró fuera de forma, de foco. A saber <laughs> cómo sería esa traducción real. Yeah. Porque cuando no le dicen en guard. Right? Es otra frase traída de otro idioma, pero es parecido. Right? Sí. Como listo en guardia. Vaya. Bueno, me ha gustado esta conversación. Muy interesante. Right. Thank God that you liked it. And the problem, this is what we are for. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Y bueno, yo le sigo dando a ver con todo esto. Okay. Ya, ya averigüe para la niña. Tiene que tener por lo menos 16 años hasta el otro año. Ah, all right, all right. Mm -hmm. uh, did they call you? Huh? Did no, no, no. Uh, they sent me a, a WhatsApp uh, and, and, and a request for 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 a classroom. For, uh, it's a, he, she she has to get uh sixteen uh, or eighteen. No, uh, sixteen, sixteen. Sixteen. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Entonces tengo que sacarle todas esas tarjetas de minoridad, need uh -huh. y todas esas cosas. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. So, and, and what schedule do you prefer? Mm, I was thinking uh, at night because she, st she study in the morning and she has to do homework in the afternoon, so at night. Okay. Or maybe they have it on Saturdays, right? Maybe. Mm-hmm. Maybe they can Maybe. open a course on Saturdays. All right. Well, I think everything is going on trucks, right? On truck. All right. Yeah, it's on tracks, tracks. Right. Okay. Todo va sobre ruedas, on tracks. Okay. okay, then have a very good night and a very good weekend too. See you Thank Monday. You. Thank you, teacher. See you Monday. First okay. Day. Say hello, everyone, everyone over there. Okay. Bye. Bye.